Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today let's see one of the OOTB tool given by Pega which is Rule Security Analyzer. So what are the privileges that are required to run this tool and what is the use of this tool and to which rule sets we can run this respective tool in your application. Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMate now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview question whatever it is you can reach me personally in this top mid. you can book a video meeting with me so that uh, I can have one to one chat with you guys let's get started into the topic so we know that security is one of the most important feature of any application so we might need to create our own rules and we might need to create our own javascripts for some of the features so we might be having a doubt like whether we are standing uh, following all the standards for the security so pega has given a tool called as rule security analyzer where we can run that to a respective rule set or all the rule sets of the application and there can be any uh, type of security checks we can do so normally uh, this particular tool uh, searches for all the non auto generated rules in uh, pega or for uh, to find a specific javascript or sql patterns that indicate a security vulnerability so for running this what you want you should have a privilege of px security va this is the most important privilege so you should add to your access group suppose if you are a standard developer and having sysadmin 4 this is already included but if you are some manager and you want to include only for a specific rule so they have to add this privilege under their access uh, group so what are the points that need to be noted here is so we, we have to uh, run this particular rules uh, uh, security analyzer uh, only on custom code not on auto generator rules and if any rule is uh, marked as blocked then those are not uh, identified and this particular tool scans your own applications not the default pega otb or whatever the rule sets uh, pega standard, standard pega rule sets and uh, this particular security analyzer searches for vulnerabilities in code by searching for matches to regular expression so we know that uh, that security threat can be of like a cross site scripting or some sql injection or you have specified some unsafe url or hard coded some urls like that so if you want to check for each and every uh, particular expression this particular tool will help where to go configure organization security tools security rule security analyzer so this is the path to go to this rule security analyzer and if you can see here all rule sets so i have different rule sets if i want to uh, specify only these i can specify but i want to run this for all the rule sets and if you want to specify the version in all the rule sets you can do it and uh, here uh, suppose I don't want to allow only on highest versions. I, I can uncheck this. Or you want to search uh, for a rule set updated since you can give some date over here. And what are the rule types? Suppose you have uh, different rule types like see uh, text file, HTML control, correspondence, correspondence fragment activity, function. So you can select what are the rule types based on your needs. Suppose harness instruction, HTML fragment. Only these three I want to check as part of this. And hello, unauthenticated activities which is in this last. Yeah, uh, we have to. And this is the main thing, expression list. So as I've said, Pega supports some expression list like PV cross-site scripting, custom JS, database, G get thread in rules, PV log statements, PV referencing rules, PV safe URL and activity, SQL injection system call and safe URL and all. So at that time you can add uh, many expressions and you can run this uh, respect to uh, uh, rule analyzer. Now what it actually involves, you so you can just open this. You can see the code provided by Pega. So as I said, uh, our privilege is of 
PX security VA. So here also this PA security VA is the rule set where all these uh, rules provided by Pega. So now if I click run analyzer, see vulnerable rules per total rule search. See there are four uh, rules that are there. So there are zero that are vulnerable. So as I have selected only these particular rules and I have uh, bypassed this. Mm, these are not there. Now I will select all rule types and again I will delete this and I will run with SQL for SQL injection. Now I click run analyzer. Now you can see there are different HTML rules and uh, control rule section, whatever the rules are that are there in my application, all those are uh, searched uh, in this and uh, it is showing that there are no vulnerable rules as per this tool and if you want to export this uh, to an excel and you want to show it as a maintain this you can do this as there are no rules uh, nothing has been found here and uh, the after this if you want to learn more about this uh, particular rule security analyzer you can just click help where uh, the notes that I have already prepared is from here and if you can uh, see the video description I will provide this particular link where you can just go and study about this. So see cross site scripting value with this is a description so it will be checking whether uh, when we are encoding something to a browser whether everything is active or not it will be checking this like that see py database log statements SQL injection so here you can find definitions and uh, the following regular experience are also provided and can be used with analyzer although they are not specifically related to security so these are also there in our uh, particular expressions drop down but these are not related to security hope you have learned some new concept already if you have used this please feel free to comment uh, whether you have faced any vulnerable rules and how we have tackled that if not, uh, you just uh, try to run this and check whether how you how safe your application is. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this content. As it is free of course, please share, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Share your knowledge as well in comments.